There are two questions um, on Avidya. The first one is Piara Rudra. I am confu- confused about the concept of Avidya. If Avidya is in Brahman, and Brahman is the only reality, then Avidya is also real. Then how is Mukti possible? And the second question is from Srini Iyengar. Swamiji, are Maya and Avidya interchangeable terms? Avidya means ignorance. So again, in the Advaita Vedanta paradigm, the problem is ignorance. We do not know our real nature. If we would know our real nature, we would be free of samsara. So problem is ignorance, solution is knowledge. That ignorance is called avidya. Vidya means knowledge. Avidya, almost like the English negative, is not vidya or ignorance. Not knowing our real nature. Now, if you say, this is a question in Advaita metaphysics and epistemology. If you say this ignorance is in Brahman, in the ultimate reality, because there's only that ultimate reality according to Advaita Vedanta, only Brahman exists. So if there is ignorance, you say there's ignorance, it must be in Brahman. And then the question was, in that case, it, Brahman is the only reality, and so this ignorance must be real. How can it be overcome? Well, I mean, this question can be fine-tuned, but I think we get the trend of this question. And the answer is, uh, why does it? Ha- why does ignorance have to be something real that cannot be overcome? Um, ignorance can be overcome by knowledge. It's like... If the movie is on the movie screen, does that mean that the movie becomes real? The screen is real. If you're reading a Harry Potter book, the book is real for you. But the, the, what is printed on that, the fiction, the story which emerges out of that, that need not be as real as the book. So this idea of multiple layers of truth, what are called ontological levels, there's an absolute reality. And in that there can be a less than reality. The mind which dreams, our dream state, we have a dream. But the mind which was dreaming is real. And when we wake up, we say that, oh, I was dreaming. So whatever happened in the dream, I dismiss as a part of the dream. That was a dream. That was not real. But I don't don't deny that I was dreaming. Exactly like that, if you go to the absolute level of reality, Brahman is the reality in which this entire universe appears and we do not know the reality. That's our current problem. And knowledge will remove that not knowing. And then we will know that we are that reality Brahman. So that's not a problem at all. The second question was, is avidya and maya, are they interchangeable? Are they the same thing? Um, Again, yes and no. Ignorance, we have ignorance, each of us. We are ignorant of our real nature. Uh, This is called avidya. Maya is the power of God, of Ishwara, by which this entire universe is projected. Now, what's the relationship between our individual ignorance and that Maya? It's a bit like Sri Ramakrishna gave the example of the uh, poison in a cobra. the, The cobra has poison in its fangs or in its poison sac, actually. And uh, um, a little bit of that poison is enough to knock out its prey, a frog or a mouse. But all the poison is in the cobra and doesn't affect the cobra at all. In fact, it's the power of the cobra. Similarly, uh, maya is the power of God. And this avidya, which, which is there in all of us, which deludes us into samsara, is a part of that maya, is a tiny, tiny part of that, of that maya. It keeps us in delusion. But it can also free us from delusion. Maya has these two sides, vidya and avidya. Vidya maya and avidya maya. Avidya maya... That which thing makes us think we are this body, we are this mind, we are this little person. And this world is exactly what I want. I want to be rich and I want to have fun. I mean, all I need is um, on that side is Wall Street and this side is Broadway and I need these two. I don't need the Vedanta society in between. <laughs> That's Avidya. <laughs> and the Vidya Maya says, oh, those two are fun, but they are not deeply satisfying. Whereas what they say here in between in the <laughs> Vedanta society, and it seems to hope, uh, hold some hope of you know, transcending this condition, finding out some deep fulfillment. So that is, that is also Maya. But this is Vidya Maya, the Maya of knowledge, uh, Maya of enlightenment. Both of them constitute this world. Um, one keeps us engrossed in this world. The other helps to free us from this world. Um, 
and both are part of Maya. All right.